Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to show you how I use Notion to manage my content calendar and Notion is a great tool that I like to use not only for my own content calendar but for my clients. So I just thought that I'd kind of give you a very quick overview of how I kind of manage it. Notion videos are really popular on YouTube and I see a lot of different people use Notion differently and I find it really fascinating how people set up their their own pages and templates. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. So as you can see, this is a brief overview of my content calendar. And you'll notice at the top here that I have named it content calendar blog Megan Taylor Creative. And this particular title is important for me because I have lots of different content channels that I publish content on. So I have a YouTube channel, obviously, and then I also have a podcast, which you might have seen on my YouTube channel as well. If not, I will link it in the cards right now so that you can go and listen to the latest episode but yeah so actually naming the content calendar and specifying what channel it's for is really important for me and then also you've noticed that I have a my brand name there and that's because I have a few different brands I also have Megan Taylor copywriter but that's more of a personal brand and one that's still in its infancy so for today we're just going to focus on Megan Taylor creative and yeah this is the content calendar for my blog and as you can see it is a range in the typical kind of project management style so I have here by status this is the by status view and you can add views using the filter um, in Notion which is really useful and you can see the project the content calendar by the assignee or, or you can just see a list of all the projects as well and that's more of a detailed overview as opposed to the by status view which I prefer to use because it's a bit more agile so yeah as you can see I got a not started column and how I've kind of set this up is that it's just a property which you can edit straight away when you create a new view and to do this you just create a new page and then we can type in in something so let's just say new content idea okay. and then we can here you can see the status so it's already kind of built into notion so I've also added needs updating because I update a lot of my content quite regularly and I recommend that you do the same but it's really easy to do that you just need to create a new page and you can change the status of your content and then what I like to do is say for example a piece of content is finished this is just a random card that I created and I don't need anymore. I have created a piece of content like this but I haven't done all the details so let's just put this into publish and then what I would normally do is I would put the link to the piece of content here. I would also include the, any media especially for my podcast so things like the introduction music and the actual audio file itself and the video that I create YouTube to. I also like to put the publication date just so that I in you know, on things. To be honest, publication date's not really important after launch, but I still think it's a good idea to keep track of it anyway, especially if you're looking at which content you need to update, and then you can see which content is the oldest and probably needs to be updated the most. And property, you can use properties in lots of different ways. You, if you're doing a broader content calendar so you have all of your channels on one content calendar you could just say that this is all Instagram for example and then now I can see that this content needs to be posted on Instagram and you can also see below that I have several different templates these are templates that some of them Notion have created Notion is really good for just kind of getting you started with the actual platform because it is a little bit complex but after the learning curve it's really intuitive hence I use it for my clients and I find that it's really effective for communicating as well so for example I just I can add myself and then I can just write a comment hello and then I will actually get an email notification from Notion saying that there's some new updates if you've got that setting updated okay so that's generally the main gist of how I actually organize everything if I show you a drop down because this is also important for managing your Notion you can also see that the content calendar is the main page and 
and then you can see each view here. I also have access to templates. I can also see everything in the tables. If you are seeing things in tables, then that's really important. That's a really good view. And actually, sometimes if I'm updating content and the status of the content, I prefer using this view because I can see the links a lot more clearly than what I would be able to in the status view. And obviously, you can see by assignee. At the moment, it's just me because I don't have a team, but this would be really useful once you introduce new team members you can start to you know, add an assignee and then you can start to assign different tasks by clicking on new creating a task and then you can see obviously here that it's automatically um, assigned me this task because this is a rule that's only to me but obviously if you have a, a new team member then you can just click on it and it will show up all your team members there so yeah that's basically so yeah that's basically everything it's really quick and easy but I just find that having this content calendar allows me to capture ideas a lot quicker than just by writing things down in a notebook or on the notes function on my phone i can see for example the blog i can see that this is specifically for my web content but i also have a content calendar for my podcast which maybe i'll go through in a different video because that's kind of a different content type and requires a bit more planning and yeah that's everything today i hope that you enjoyed this overview and hopefully i will be back with more tutorials and videos soon thank you bye